from Sekolah Menengah Saujana Utama in the bonus round. Okay, Yazid, if you can tell me what smell this is, you will win the mystery prize. Okay, Yazid, can you tell me what this is? It is fried chicken. Are you sure? Yes, I am. That is correct! You have won a nose protection gear! now on a tongue. The tongue is the organ for taste. It contains as many as 10,000 taste buds. Taste buds are those spotted areas on the tongue. The tongue can recognize four main types of taste. Sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. <laughs> when we taste something, these four basic tastes are combined together with the use of smell. No wonder whenever I have a flu, I cannot taste my food well. The tongue is used for tasting food. It enables us to distinguish one kind of food from another. In this way, we can mm -hmm, enjoy our food. Mm, yummy, yummy. Our sense of taste also helps us to detect any poisonous substances in the food. Spicy food like peppers and curries taste hot because they stimulate the taste buds in a unique way. And these spicy foods also stimulate the general nerve endings on the lips, the cheeks, and the roof of the mouth, causing uncomfortable hot sensations in the mouth. Ah! The ear is the organ for hearing. There are three parts in every ear. The outer ear, the middle ear, 
and the inner ear. They are made up of the eardrum, the ear bones or the ossicles, the semicircular canals, the cochlea, the oval window, and the eustachian tube. The sound causes the eardrum to vibrate. The vibrations stimulate the tiny hairs on the nerve. These nerves send electrical impulses to the brain. It enables us to tell one sound from another. Hello! Animals use sound instead of sight to find their way. The bat is one such animal. It usually hunts for insects after dark. It produces a burst of a high-pitched sound as it flies. The sound bounces back off any objects around it. These echoes reach the sensitive ears of the bat. It uses the echoes to locate the position of its prey. The outer ear is made up of the ear flap and the ear canal. It directs sound waves into the ear canal. The middle ear is made up of the eardrum and three ossicles. Sound waves cause the eardrum and also the three ossicles to vibrate. The inner ear is made up of the cochlea and three fluid-filled semicircular canals. Tiny hairs in the ossicles are stimulated and they send nerve signals to the brain which recognizes the sound. The outer ear and the middle ear are filled with air, whereas the inner ear is filled with fluid. The semicircular canal maintains the balance of the body, while the eustachian tube equalizes the pressure of the outer ear and the inner ear. I'm sure all of you really take care of your ears because they play such an important role in your body. Did you know that children's ears are usually more sensitive than adults? Dig 
you know that human beings can also distinguish 2,000 to 4,000 different smells? back we are now at our final destination our eye is shaped like a ball the front layer, called the cornea, is transparent. It protects the eye. Light enters the eye through a tiny opening called the pupil. The iris is the colored part of the eye. Our iris controls the amount of light entering the eye. The lens in the eye bends the light and helps to focus the light. The light is focused onto the retina. The image is upside down. But our brain interprets it the right side up. The eye sees things. It helps us to move about without endangering ourselves. The eyes allow us to see what we do. We can also learn a lot about the world around us. It would be unfortunate if we were to lose our sense of sight. Not only would it be difficult to move around, but we will miss out on so many things. <laughs> Presenting Professor of the Millennium, Professor Nina! Greetings fellow science lovers. Had fun with Professor Gluck learning about the five senses? Good! Today in our segment, we are going to read a letter from a good friend of mine who had asked me what tears are. Okay! It is normal for people to blink their eyes. In blinking, the eye is washed. The tear gland produces a salty secretion called tears. There is a tear gland behind the upper eyelid at the outer corner of the eye. Each gland is about the size and shape of an almond. The liquid from the gland passes over the eye. It then drains into the nose through the tear duct at the inner corner of the eye. When a person laughs too hard, ha ha ha, or cries, Muscles in the upper eyelid squeeze the eyelid, which will squeeze the tear gland. This produces tears that flow too fast to be drained away in the normal way. This is a desert. It's the hottest place on earth. And I am sweating. Oh. I've explained to you about the five senses of the human body. The skin is one of the organs that is stimulated by the environment. The skin is sensitive to pain, heat, cold, 
and pressure. When the skin senses heat in the environment, it develops sweat. Sweat is produced by the body. This process is called excretion. Excretion is a process by which metabolic waste products are removed from the body of an organism. These waste products are produced by metabolic processes and can be harmful if allowed to accumulate in the body. Therefore, they have to be removed from the body to maintain good health. Excretion is different from defecation. Unlike the feces formed in defecation, the waste substances in excretion are formed within the cells. The three important excretory organs are the kidneys, lungs, and skin. Are sweat glands in the dermis. Sweat secreted through these sweat glands is mainly water containing dissolved salts such as sodium chloride and very small amounts of organic matter such as urea. Since sweat contains metabolic waste products like urea, the skin is also considered an excretory organ. <coughs> nice to... <coughs> Nice to meet you, old friend. <laughs> of course it's salty. It's my sweat. <laughs> So remember this, sweating is important to the human body. Always exercise, the more you sweat, the more healthy you will be. I have to go now. See you soon. Bye. Hey, come back. Hey, you, come back. What are you doing? Super day.
Hello again. Before we end our show, here are some revision questions that can help your studies. 